Welcome to Berlin, where I'm with uh, Praise the Plague. Uh, Black and Doom, Schlass, Sludge, Schlass. Uh, well, you guys tell me about the band. What's the song? Well, yeah, we're Praise the Plague. Um, I'm uh, Robert, I do vocals, and um, yeah, we basically basically do uh, some Black and Doom, Doom infused black metal. Um, that sort of stuff. Um, it's hard to tell really because um, it's it's always changing and uh, the songwriting is always changing a little bit. So well, sometimes it's more black metal, sometimes more more doom, more doom metal. So yeah. Yeah. Did you have some kind of plan already when you started three years ago, or? Well, maybe no, Marcy, not not really. Um, uh, I get separated from my old band and um, I want to quit making music <laughs> and my wife says go on with it uh, you are chaotic without music and uh, then I start writing songs and put it online and Benny wrote to me first said hey did you need your best player so um, that is we start and then I met Robert uh, at a show and uh, a common friend of us uh, asked me hey how's going the new band did you find your 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 band members and uh, I said yeah, I had a good, uh, I had a, I had a good bass player, but uh, a good singer and a good drummer was left, and he said, "Yeah, maybe I can try." And we met up, and it was from the first time it was like that brother from another, from another mother, and uh, yeah, and um, then we had uh, some different drummers, and um, yeah. The first one was stolen by, by another band. <laughs> uh, the second one was a, was a chef and he had shift uh, uh, work and uh, I had no time. So and yeah, Benny wrote Sasha. I said, hey, yeah, we have a new band. Come on over. And he don't recognize Facebook. And uh, we made an often official ad for searching uh, uh, that we searching for musicians. And he wrote us like, yeah, hi, I'm, I'm Sasha and I'm. I like your sound. Yeah, and, uh, that, that was a good thing. Like, <laughs> I wrote them like, really, like, I am Sasha and I played in this band and that band, blah, blah, blah. And we played in the band before, like yeah. 10 years ago. Yeah, yeah. 12 yeah. years, and, uh, like in a piss drunk, punk, alcohol influenced, yeah. shitty asshole yeah. band. <laughs> and after I wrote them, it was like five minutes, and then he wrote me back, like, you stupid idiot, we know each other, just come to the next rehearsal. <laughs> and, First, I met you guys in the Jäger closet. Yeah, right? yeah, we drank some beer. Yeah, we drank yeah. a lot of beer. For the first, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For the first yeah. second, it was like, okay, I'm home right now. Yeah, yeah. I don't really recall really that, that much from that night, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I remember it quite good because yeah. on my way home, it was really like, it was okay, so special. shit, <laughs> this will work out, this will work out. Yeah, you, like you were afraid, afraid because yeah. you checked your, you checked you up really. Yeah. And I checked you well, up like in, in a political sense. Yeah. 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 Important in Berlin. Yeah. 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 Especially with black metal, you yeah. never know yeah. what's going on there. My only thing was, had you Benny who played in a hardcore punk band and cross band or something like that. So I thought it would be okay, but I had to be sure that mm. everything's fine. And sure. they, they were just like, yeah, we hate Nazis as well. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fucking bother. And I was like, okay, I'm home. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, basically there was no real plan. No, like, I guess yeah. it just all came together. It just, um, just do music and get yeah. shit faced. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> we had not, no, we yeah. had not yeah. much time. Uh, yeah, we're no. starting, starting to rehearsal. The songs were ready, yeah. and we're starting to rehearsal. And I think two months later, the first gig was like six yeah, weeks after I joined. When Sasha yeah. joined, yeah. 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 Uh, was the original idea already like do metal and I'm uh, uh, more interested in how, uh, how you think about the sludge elements in your music and where does the inspiration come from to it, your music? No. I think I think that um, the songs were already written before we met so Marcy yeah. made this, uh, wrote the songs at home and I don't, I'm not almost I'm never quite sure but uh, I came in as a as a vocalist the vocals that I do like I shout and I don't sing because I don't really can I think and um, I I never really know I think Marcy never really imagined the songs with the with the vocals with with that they have now maybe because and that changed the, the atmosphere maybe a little bit so um, but um, 
the songs were already, yeah, like I said, the songs were already written, so there was yeah, already that metal, black metal inf, inf, infused, uh, in, in, uh, uh, infused, and uh, but it was it was more like doom metal. Like you can yeah. see, you can you can hear the first songs we wrote, uh, we have on our on our first um, um, on our debut. Um, they are already a little bit different than what is uh, what you can hear on the EP. So. Um, and what we are writing now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I think the inf the the, the 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 inspiration really um, comes from. I mean, it came already came for you when you wrote songs. You had inspirations from Russian circles, from uh, Caspian, from uh, Cult of Luna, which are like that's not all, they, they all, but they also have sludgy parts. You've been referring to the to the sludgy parts, and um, I think um, that's that's something that we like to grab and, and still keep into our um, now I think it, it's, uh, uh, during the years now it grows a little bit together and um, yeah becoming a band it's, as I always say when we when we talk about this it's starting uh, that's the reason the first record is that short because it was only an instrumental home recording project yeah. so it was never from the beginning it was never in mind uh, to making a real band that a uh, lucky circumstance and that it, this happened so and i think for my for my part uh, i can say the sludgy parts came from the band i played before i played for several years in earthship from berlin um, they're doing like stoner sludge doomy stuff and i think I, I cannot deny that influences because i played that for 30 years and uh, but I grew up in the 90s, I'm the oldest in this fucking band, so I always call me Ben Pop Dad. And um, yeah, I grew up with 90s death metal and black metal, so and I cannot deny my roots. So and I think that's the reason this mashup came over. Yeah. Okay, uh, you mentioned already writing new stuff, so uh, what kind of material is coming and is it going to be Antagonist 3 or... No, no, no. no. The, the Antagonist phase is actually like close right the now. The story is close. Yeah. 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 yeah, so it will be a new chapter and yeah. I think we all can say it's like way more black metal yeah. and less yeah. doom right now. Way faster, yeah. way more oh, grim. No, not, not grim frostbitten, more like sad, it's sad, sad yeah. black metal, not, not yeah. the... Diabolical, hellish stuff. More like the more more influence from maybe Eastern Euro black metal bands, some kind of that. And it's not that not that slow and not that sludgy. There are also sl uh, sludgy parts in, in there, but it's more like blast beats and fast and aggressive. And the other side is uh, that uh, during the years uh, we bought new gear and this yeah. new yeah. gear spent a lot of money for new gear. Years to us. <laughs> and and I think um, yeah it's it's an um, yeah we, we started and you can hear a step forward to uh, from antagonist one to two. And you will hear a step forward from Antagonist 2. Yeah, we kind of evolve. I so think it's, maybe it's important to know that there is no plan behind it. It's just no, like, yeah, yeah. It, it just happens, happens actually. Yeah. 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 We, we don't plan to do like this or that. We, Marcy does the main work in writing songs. So he always has like the main scheme, let's say like that. And then we work together to really make the song out of it. But it's never that we intended to make like this music or that music. It's just like I think from your feeling, let's say, mm. like that. Now it also becomes more, uh, yeah, you have more soundscapes in it. So mm. it, um, the music can uh, breathe a little bit more than in, uh, the first re two releases. Yeah, the songs are longer for it. Yeah. Yeah, right? So yeah, well, we are now in, in total, in total uh, of 50 minutes with the new record. So yeah, it's going to be a LP, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> We're not sure about that. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay, uh, you mentioned uh, the look for a drummer in the beginning and there's again uh, some lineup changes yeah. coming. 
how well you know what metal band doesn't do those but uh, do. how much do you think that's gonna change the band or it's hard to say, hard to say. Yeah. i guess um it probably will like every time a new face is coming into a band uh, the sound kind of changes a little bit especially when there's a guitar player coming in or getting out of the band um because like we had we also each of us brought a different influence into this band so same same as with the new guitar player but um i don't think you will hear it quite too soon because the songs are pretty much done for the record like just gonna change up the drums a little bit. I have to do some vocals too, and um, so the rest is all set. Like the rest is all. The rest of it is all pretty much, yeah, um, pretty much done. But uh, I guess, like I said, uh, it's yeah. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say it's not gonna change because yeah. I don't think we're that stubborn. To be honest, and um, <laughs> and also I also, also I, yeah, I, it's like it's always nice to have. Uh, uh, the thing is, the thing, yeah, the yeah. thing is, uh, it's all now in yeah. Uh, the current state is, is a demo, and uh, I think the main feeling we want to transport with this uh, record is set. Uh, uh, Every new musician has his own skill, so and um, I think this will be, um, yeah, will show a little change because he is will different uh, uh, have different playing than uh, that our uh, than our our, our own yeah, guitarists yeah, yeah. and uh, different gear too. Different yeah. gear too, and so it's, um, um, might change a little bit. Sure, yeah. But I think a real change uh, you will hear if we work together then and maybe for for the fourth record because that's that is what what yeah what we can say always it starts with a home recording project and that is what makes me very lucky uh, uh, is that this process of uh, writing songs changed a little bit I arranged the most stuff at home but it's super different to the past because we're standing now here in the rehearsal room and we have ideas and we have we met a lot of bands we played a lot of uh, with a lot of bands and we our music taste changes so much and we are um, discovering new music and that are all, all influences um, that we put into it so and we writing songs together that way that we have our influences and put them together for example i i will program the drums like a yeah like a grid that we have an uh, idea what it could be my drumming is like the, his drumming is a little bit different yeah. uh, and and that is what we would write together in the, in, in, in the rehearsal. For example, when I wrote these two guitar lines and the lead lines, I don't care about the bass lines because I trust Benny. So, and I said, here is the stuff, do it. So, and he do it well. And because we understand each other, we have the same vibe, we have the same feeling for our music, and that makes it easy for us to write those songs. Not only music, I think. This is an important part of the band that we are also on a personal level, like one wolf pack, yeah. you can say like that. Yeah. And I go that far that you even hear it in between like the first and the second record. Like, the first record was mainly Massey's work, and with the second record we had already this wolf pack that was like working together and mm -hmm. together. And I think you can hear like the slight difference and you will hear it in the next record for sure. And after that, obviously, when the new guitarist yeah. is uh, in, uh, in the band, and uh, he will have the same uh, experience, and we will have the, another new influence for sure. Yeah. Yeah.